Once again, I welcome everyone on Oleg Nesterov Brest channel. Today I'm going to show you. Well, in fact, you should never do that. This is how to quickly fix a fender if it's rusted out or damaged. Well, this fender was probably found on a scrapyard. As you can see, it's rusted. It's rusted for sure. From the back, inside of the fender, and from outside we clean down to metal. See, our metal is a bit black. Never mind. We shall not weld these holes. Actually, they should be welded. If you decide to do it properly, this fender would require a lot of work. We'll fix it, as I call it, using all sorts of crap, I mean scrap. We will work without welding, using glass fiber putty. My assistant just got crippled. Put down the wrench. This way of fixing things is often used in pre-sale preparation. That is, if you want to offload your junk onto somebody which you cannot get rid of otherwise, you have these options. In half day time we can finish this fender, make it look decent. But I repeat once again, it will look okay, but it will not last long. Well, maybe a year maximum. In case with this fender, I'd like to show how to work specifically with wash primer and a zinker solution, which is a rust solvent with zinc and manganese. I've already told you about it, people kept asking what I'd been working with. I mean, if this fender had no holes, then yes, Tinka would save us. Maybe it will save us now as well. What do we need for our project? An angle grinder with a metal round brush. Here we had already cleaned everything. Putty. Putty can be of various types. In this case I have a fiberglass one. Tinka solution with which we will treat rust, that is, remove it. These are the remaining spots of rust, which we were unable to clean with a brush. We didn't manage to reach there. And the wash primer. It's easy to use. It's mixed one to one in this case. And we start to treat the rusted surface. We prep it for the putty, that is, we do preliminary works to apply putty. And we treat the surface with zincar. Do not be afraid to hit the paint. Cover everything thoroughly, like this, backside as well. You don't necessarily have to go to great lengths. Turn it over and just use a brush. Well, the first stage of treatment is over. We have treated it with acid, that is tinker, and let it dry, applying some wash primer on the top. And in order to not rub it down to this edge, we recess these edges a little bit, sort of making a funnel. So when you start rubbing it down, all these edges will stand out again. As to the good look, yeah, well, in this case it's relative, right? We need it from the outside, not the inside. We will sort of reinforce it from the inside and make a foundation so that it doesn't fall off. And degrees. Degrees to remove traces of tinker. Such stickum. Don't be afraid, just wash it down. Wash it off after applying wash primer. This is needed to not wash it off from the spot on which we are working. And we sand this spot with a 240 grit, or you may also use a 120 grit sandpaper. In our case I will sand it with 240 grit. Around the spot we are working on. Sand it everything carefully. Now for the most interesting part. 
We need to cover all the holes on this side now, so that the putty does not go through them. It means we should cover all these holes, since we don't weld them, right? Simply cover them like this, snugly. Making sort of a small frame. And starting from this side, we will apply putty. So, cover now those spots where we put the tape. You may even, if the scotch tape is not fixed securely, help a little bit with your hand. You may apply it like this. In some spots where the applicator does not reach, you may do it with your hand, doesn't matter, with your finger. So far I am successful here. These spots Actually, it's better to do this kind of stuff with a rubber applicator. I mean, we don't need it to look nice. Here we need a base layer for the pot, which lies on top. But here, here we won't even rub it down. That's it, dry this spot. We dried the putty over there. Now peel off the scotch tape. Here, as you can see, we have some of it come out, right? We will not take great pains using sandpaper. We'll remove it with an angle grinder, and that's it. I will show you how, approximately. This thing, which came out, is taken off with an angle grinder. Here we have a small piece falling off. That's a minor one. We will reinforce it a little bit later, nothing more. And then reapply putty. Applying it kind of a little bit higher. It means that the first layer is our base layer. No sweat, do not try to make it look nice. Just prep yourself some foundation for future work. The first layer should be thicker to cover all these defects. And starting with the first layer, we are sort of setting grounds for ourselves. Well, those who applied plaster have some idea about what this is. It's the same, but on a slightly smaller scale. And we begin rubbing it down. If you have a machine with a variable speed control, then do not start with a higher speed right away. Remove these snags, otherwise you may damage the disc. There it is, we removed the base, the first layer. Now we can apply standard universal putty, meaning a leveling one. As you can see, we got rid of the holes. And then our actions are the same as in the case with the standard routine. Once again, this method is not the one I would like to teach anybody. That is for those times when it might come handy if you don't have a welder and would like to have a quick fix of your fender to be able to drive your vehicle for some time. Don't even think of doing this for your customers. This, I have to agree, may last for a while it may even last long. The main thing is to treat it with anti-corrosive agents. 
I repeat, if you want your fender to last for some time, right? Say, a year. Treat it properly with acid. In our case, we didn't keep it in the acid for too long. We just dried it with a blow dryer later on. But it's better to let it dry unattended, so that it dries naturally. It will be covered with a whiter deposit. Do not take this deposit off. It's just around the spot where it hit the paint. It creates a sticky slurry. Then you remove the stickum with a degreaser and apply some primer, wash primer. After applying the primer, let it dry. Simply sand everything around with the sanding paper. 204 degrees or 120 degrees for adhesion, right? Primed everything, reapplied putty, and that's all. Go on doing the same as you would do with metal, leveling out the dents. Same can be said about applying putty, paint. Well, and when you have something like this, right, when it's out of line, after you are done with it, it would of course be better to cover the inside with some undersill. If you like the video, don't forget to give me thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stay with us. I hope it will be interesting. Thanks everybody, see you. And lots of dough to everyone.